Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Dashcraft, and in today's video, we're actually gonna learn how to make a music bot in Discord Digest version 14. I know I made videos that are actually related to music bots in the past, but Discord Digest version 14 kind of made it a little bit more complicated, and I actually think it's about time to make an updated version about all the old videos. I'm probably gonna link this video for the old videos as well, anyways. So in today's video, I'm actually gonna teach you guys how to do it from the scratch, so you actually don't have to know any sort of knowledge. As long as you follow this video and actually do what I'm doing, you should be fine to go and make yourself a music bot. I'll see if you have any questions throughout the video. Go ahead and join to our Discord server or comment them down below. The Discord server obviously is going to have a faster effect because there are people down there that can have help you faster. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button to see more videos like this. And without further ado, let's actually into today's video. Here we are. So basically, right now, I have a test Discord bot. And it's it's pretty straightforward. Right now, the packet, the JSON, just has Discord that just installed. Nothing else um so we're basically good to go we have basic things we we have intents on and one thing you really need to make sure about is in your discord developer portal you have discord intents on that's that's really important uh there you go these three needs to be completely on and once they're all three on for your application or bot you need to make sure that you put the intents like this the way i put it in there so we won't have any troubles all right so we if I log in right now, it will show me the bot is online. Everything is pretty straightforward. But right now, what I want to do is use this to you in order to make a Discord bot, right? So first of all, what you need to do is do Node V. Make sure what your Node version is. Mine is 18.6. The requirement for uh, this to you, the requirement is 16.9. So we're good to go. Uh, this is just version 14. That's right. We have version 14 installed, as you can see. And we need Discord.js voice. So in order for us to do that, we can just simply do a new terminal. Well, I don't need a new terminal. I already have a new terminal. We can do npmi Discord voice. And now we have Discord voice installed. And we need fmmpeg. And in order for us to install that, we can either install it. We have to install it on our computer in order for us to be able to use fmmpeg. So in order for you to do that, just go ahead and click on um, your operating system. And once you install FMMPEG, you should be good to go. On my Linux machine, I just need to install it using my package manager. But on Windows, as you can see, we have uh, Windows EXE. So make sure you download one of these and install it in your system. Once you have FMMPEG installed, we can install this code just Opus. So in order for us to do that, we can just simply uh, do the same thing. We can go to your VS Code, do npmi, just go to the JS Opus. And there you go, we have it installed. Now, the next thing we need to do is lose sodium or lib sodium. I'm going to use sodium, there's no sodium, and basically this is another requirement for this tube. We're just going to copy this and empty my sodium. All right, now we have sodium installed and we should be good to go. It might take a little bit of time, but don't worry about it. The next thing we need to do is simply look at their documentation. So this thing has a documentation itself. Uh, we can actually check out our right here. But what's cool about this, they already have an example for us, which is really nice. Um, we can actually check it out. And this is a, this is the example for this tube. Basically, it's I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. I'm not going to confuse you with a lot of these. It might be a little bit confusing for a lot of you guys. But one thing we need to make sure is that on our intents, as you can see, there is one thing called guild voice state. We need to make sure we have that at our intent. So we're just going to go here. Uh, I'm going to do this. There we go. So now we have permission to use voice states in our voice chats, basic voice channels, basic. So once we're done with this, we can just require this tube. We're just gonna do const this tube is equal. Actually, have I installed this tube yet? Of course I have not. Uh, we're just gonna install this tube real quick. Uh, npmi this tube, and there we go. We're done. So now all we have to do is just do const this tube is equal to require this tube. Now, in order for us to do that, first of all, what I notice is that I need to do this because we need to look for this inside of this tube, uh, which is something I forgot. This tube, there we go. Now, once we have done with this, we can just do client dot this tube is equal to new this tube, and now we need to set up the options for the this tube. So, in order for us to do that, we can look at the example right here. So, this is leave on stop, emit new songs only. And these are basically the options um, you will need to pass throughout this tube. Uh, we don't have to do them, but I recommend looking into documentation for the options that it has. First of all, we need to say client for this tube. So we just go do that. Let's do it and do client. There we go. Now, once we're done with this, we can just simply copy these, honestly, to be fair with you, because they're the default 
recommended options. And there we go. You can customize these by yourself. Uh, basically, what they do is just um, give the bot the configurations it needs. For example, leave when something stops, false. So it won't leave when a music stops. Emit new songs only, true. Emit add songs when create a queue, false, false. Again, these are pretty self-explanatory. So I think you will get it yourself. Okay, once we're done with this, don't, don't worry about the plugins. We're not gonna look into that. The plugins have their own story. Uh, we won't need that. And uh, now we just we, we just can literally start doing our code because we already have our player technically. Let's go ahead and do client dot on message create. So now what we're doing right now is um, sorry I forgot the arrow function. There we go. Now we're gonna use the message create event. So when we send a message, give a song URL and everything else, it will start playing um, the music for us, right? So in order for us to do that. Uh, again, we can look at the example that it already gave us. So we have message.author.bot and the gil and everything, and we have prefix. Well, again, let's go ahead and make sure this thing actually is in there. What this will do for us is that it will check if the message.author is a bot and if it's a bot or the message is in a guild, it's going to return this whole message create event, which is really useful. Now we're gonna also set our prefix. So const prefix is equal to, I'm gonna set as this, cause why not? And there we go. We have done with, we're done with it. So we set our prefix. Now we need to actually look for that prefix. So if uh, message.content.true lowercase, actually we're gonna say, if it doesn't start with this, then you're gonna return this. Pretty, pretty easy, right? So um, basically route, we are just asking if the bot starts with the prefix of uh, this. We can also just put this in here. So because we already defined what prefix is. Now that's not quite the end of the story. We need to also set up an argument system. So when we actually ask the bot to play a song for us, it will detect the argument system correctly. So let me give you an example. For example, when we're trying to play Despacito in music, right? Let's say we want to play pee pee poo poo. For example, I'm just, I'm just giving an example, right? Play, we're just going to do play pee pee poo poo. Now, here's a problem. We have not made a system that will detect the second argument. As a matter of fact, we don't even know how to do that. So we need to define that system. And not only that, we need to also tell it that after the first argument, every single space needs to technically be connected and be read. They shouldn't be all treated as one different argument because we want to do the searching with all of these, not just one of these, right? So first we need to do const args is equal to message.content.slice prefix.length which is the length of our prefix trim the prefix length and then split it and which this will, this will basically give us an argument system now how do we look for the command we need to do if args the shift and the two lowercase is equal equal to play then we're just going to play the song basically they want we want to play so we said that client.distube is new player, right? Because it's a new player, right? So client.distube, the play. Now we need to say what person, like what voice channel should be connected to. So we need to do message, sorry, message.member, the voice, the channel. And then we need to give out this string for this. So again, like I said, we want the first argument to be connected to the second, the third, and the future arguments, right? We need to do args.join space. There we go. It joins the spaces together. Now, that's not the end. So we need to still configure a few more things. We need to configure three more things. One of them is passing out the member. So we need to do member is message.member. Another, another one of them is actually a text channel. So we need to do text channel is equal to message.text channel. I believe so. Let me check. Message channel. Sorry, message that channel. My bad. I don't know why I said message that text channel. That's weird. Uh, we need to do, then we also need to pass out the message. There we go. So these are the three things we're passing out and we're done. So we have everything. It should play the music without any problems. Just go ahead and put your token down there. Oh, wait, actually, before we start trying out this thing, we need to also set up the event system that it has. So if you go back to the index.js, actually in here, um, you can see the this tube itself has many different events that we can actually use. You want to send a message when the music starts playing. So in order for us to do that, we can just do client dot this tube dot on. So the event is called play song, I believe. 
Then the two things that actually exist in play song, Q and song. So we need to do Q and song. And an arrow function again, and we're done. Oh, I don't know why I put that. I need to put this in that the trick. All right, there we go. Now we can just do get the message from the queue. So queue that message. The, the channel that's sent. There we go. Now the message we're gonna send is now playing plus song dot name. There we go. Now, once this is happening, it's going to give us what song it's playing. So let's go ahead and do try that. First, we need to actually get a token there. So put your token down there. I'm going to show my token, obviously, because this needs to be secured. So, oh, also, before we start actually testing this, let's put this as well. I forgot to put that into clear, no dot. Now go to a voice channel. I'm already in a voice channel. And let's play Amugas as an example. So we're going to do that. There we go. The bot is joined. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so since we're already giving the queue from the message, message from the queue, since we're already getting the message from the queue, we need to also do text channel. Shut up. Message the text channel that's sent. Sorry, queue that text channel that's sent. That should do the trick. The reason it was not playing the music was because it couldn't send the message to the chat. So it's gonna join the channel. There we go. Now playing the movie. There we go. So we have our bot playing the music. Now, in order, I'm not going to explain every single command in today's video, but the commands all exist inside of the commands folder. You can check them out. There's even more in the documentation, I believe so. So you can configure yourself. But go ahead and experiment with, you, with these by yourself. I gave you already an example. I, told, I showed you how to use the events instead of the disc tube and also how to play music in this tube. I suggest you go ahead and learn how to skip, stop a music and shuffle everything else as you want. You should probably work on stop next anyways. Anyways, there you go. You have it all. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and make sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel and go ahead and comment down below what do you think. If you have any problems, go ahead and comment them down below too. I'm happy to help. And this is Dash Graf. I'm out. Bye-bye, guys.